how to study in quarantine. Like good studying vibes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole and Beepy here and today we will be discussing how to study in quarantine and out of quarantine. These tips can be applied to your classes, AP tests, SATs, SAT subject tests, anything that you need to study for. With quarantine going on, I hope all of you guys are staying safe and I know it's even harder to get motivated in this time to actually like do your work and to sit down and like force yourself to study. So I wanted to make this video to kind of share some of my study tips and how to really get down to business to defeat the Huns. Let's just hop right into this. So first tip is to be disciplined. And by this, I mean to have a routine. With school, you're usually there for about seven hours a day and for a set amount of time, you're going to each class. You have a routine, you're disciplined. During quarantine, you should also try to get into a routine as well. So set aside time throughout the week to sit down and study, do your work that your teacher assigned. So even if throughout the rest of the week, I'm like watching Netflix or learning how to sew or cooking and baking, once it's around like eight, I'm like, okay, let me try to get a couple things done for my schoolwork. Set a time to do your work and study. Number two, no distractions. So during this time, limit your phone use, TikTok use, Netflix use, everything. Anything that could distract you should be limited during your scheduled time. Ways to avoid distractions is to keep your phone in another room. Maybe give your parent or your sibling your phone and be like, don't let me touch this until um, I finish this assignment. Put it face down, silence it, just make sure it's out of the way. Being disciplined also goes into step number three, which is organize. Organize, organize, organize. You have to know what you have to do when it has to be done. I recommend getting a planner, using the reminders app. You need something concrete. The most important thing with that is so that you can see what needs to be done and visually like check it off your list. And doing that like one, it's kind of satisfying to like finish each thing and get it down to only having like a couple things left to do. But also to like, okay, so this is what I've done. Let me go to this next thing. Let me do this, let me do this, let me do this. Your brain will get into the, okay, like, let's do this, let's finish, let's finish. That's really important in quarantine because it's hard to get motivated. And so once you start doing things, you're like, oh, I'm productive, I can do this. And yeah, okay, next, take breaks. This is so important. It's really easy to get stressed out by the amount of work you have. So you should factor in breaks when you're studying. You could be like, oh, so after I finish these two assignments, then I'll take about an hour, then I'll take a 20 minute break to do whatever I want. And then you come back and then you're like, okay, I'll work this long and then take this amount of break. If you're motivated and you're really determined and you wanna get everything done, you definitely can just go through all of your work in one sitting, accolades. <laughs> If you could do that, that's amazing, and I I applaud you. For a lot of people, that's hard to sit down and stay focused for that for a long period of time, so definitely taking breaks in between times when you're working. Next up on how to study during quarantine is location. Is that five? I don't know. Location, 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 location. It needs to be somewhere with good vibes, <laughs> like good studying vibes. I... I'm the queen of wanting to do homework in my bed because it's just convenient because I'm already in there in my bed watching Netflix so I just want to get like my backpack and just like knock out like an assignment or two but that is one of the worst things to do at least for me because my bed is where I relax and I uh, decompress it's better to divide where you work and where you relax so you can work better in that space and you can relax better in that space and often when I would work in my bed I fall asleep while working and then I don't finish my homework and then yeah see it's just not as efficient as opposed to me maybe going to the kitchen counter and working on there 
for going to the dining table and working there. Find somewhere that's not your bed or somewhere where you usually sleep or relax and work there. Um, good vibes. Hopefully it's not too loud. Definitely minimize distractions, so that kind of goes into good vibes also. Next, music. It's not like a necessity, but music is a four to vibes. I've heard a lot of people say how studies have shown that like listening to music while doing work helps you focus more on your work. So if you want to try listening to music, maybe not something that too much, maybe something like more chill, relaxed. I know some people listen to classical music, not me. I listen to R&B a lot of times when I'm doing my work. I would play like Swimming by Mac Miller and like I just let the album go through. Or lately I've been using Janae Iko's album. It shouldn't distract you from the work you're doing. It should just be the like more to just have it in the background. So you're just kind of doing your thing. <clears throat> Another study tip is to use your resources. Definitely, definitely try to find things that will help maybe explain something again for you. You can look up review videos or videos on certain topics and you'll find those like just on YouTube. Also, if you're studying for an AP test, there are AP exam review books. That's another resource that you could use. And if you're studying for SAT, College Board and Khan Academy, they have like free tests that you can access and study with. So that's another thing. And maybe even your teachers have resources. Take advantage of what you have available to you last tip is study groups so this might be more effective outside of quarantine but in quarantine you could still try to do study groups like group FaceTime if you have FaceTime or a zoom call or I don't know snapchat group call <laughs> if you're feeling spicy <laughs> it really helps when you're studying to have someone to kind of like bounce things off of especially when you're studying for a test like AP tests so you quiz each other help each other review if you have like a question on a piece of material you can be like hey so can you explain this to me and then kind of like help each other so you can both succeed if you don't really have a study group or even if you do you can also try emailing your teachers if you have any questions and have them clarify things most teachers genuinely want to see you succeed and have a good understanding of the material so they'll be happy to help you in any way they can those are the key things that i know have helped me over the past four years if you have any tips that maybe I left out or things that you do that really help you, you can comment them. Let's help each other, guys. We're all in this together. I definitely am no expert on how to study. This is just my take on it. And I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Do what you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe. You know how it is. Do with that what you wish. See you guys later.